This is the Look Great Naked Cooking Show, and I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer. I will share with you my own healthy gourmet recipes straight from the Look Great Naked Cookbook series. These recipes require minimal prep time and are sure to impress your friends. We will also provide you with the macronutrients to keep you informed on what's going into your body. Along with the freshest ingredients, we will help you pick the healthiest options. Join us each week as we provide you with the tools to look great naked. Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of the Look Great Naked Cooking Show. I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer, and today we're going to be making the lemon berry oatmeal. It's a healthy morning option that we're going to be using the Instapot today to speed the process along. And you guys, here's what you need if you want to play. We've got water, and then we have still cut oats. Then we have two tablespoons of Benicol. Benicol is a healthy butter alternative. It has only the healthy fats and the lower calories, so we're going to be using that instead of real butter. We also have raw honey. We have almond slivers, lemon, salts, and then some big old blueberries. All right, guys, let's get throwing this together in our happy little chiming Instapot. We are going to throw in the butter. We're gonna put this on simmer and we're gonna cook this for six minutes with the lid off, melting the butter. Throwing it in like that, guys. Oh, shit. Alrighty, guys, now that we have our Benicol sauteing, we are going to add the oats and lightly toast them in the bottom of the Instapot. And then after six minutes, we'll be adding the water and the salt. have sauteed the oats with the Benicol, added the water and the salt. We are now going to put the lid on and turn the pressure cooker on to 12 minutes. Hey guys, and while that's cooking, we are going to zest and juice one lemon, maybe two. We need three tablespoons of juice and then we need roughly the same amount of lemon zest. So we're gonna zest it first and then cut it and juice it. Alrighty guys, we have cooked our oatmeal for 12 minutes, pressurized, and then we let it relax for 10 minutes. Just, you know, vibe out, chill. So now we're going to release the pressure. There she blows. John recommended I use a wooden spoon and not my pretty face or hand. Okay guys, we have turned it off. The bobber fell down, the pressurized nubby contraption. And then we are going to open this up. And we are going to Give it a fluff. Okay, we are going to throw in our lemon zest that I painstakingly have zested. And 
and then we will throw in the lemon juice. And half of the honey boo boo. So we have four total tablespoons. We're just gonna add half now. Woof. Then give it a mix, guys. Mix in the lemons, the lemon juice, the honey. All right, guys, we are gonna bowl this up. This is four servings, but we're assuming you're hungry. Just bear with me, there's a lot. We have our oatmeal all dished up and now we're gonna make it pretty. So we've got our remaining honey that we are going to drizz dazzle. All over the top. We are then going to add some lemon peel. Gaggle of blueberries. Almond slivers. All right, guys, and there we have it, our lemon berry oatmeal. Now we're gonna take a big old taste. But if you guys like this recipe, remember it's a good one if you happen to have company that doesn't get the hint and they end up staying the night. At least this way you can present something to them the next morning, put it in a to-go bag and ship them out the door. Well, I love you guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm making a mess and we'll see you next time. Love you, bye. Mother John. Mother John, it's it's a ceiling. Father John. <gasps> <laughs> it's a ceiling. You were scared about me. We need to be nervous about you. Dude.